Hey friends, welcome to my channel for another tutorial for automatic manual boring tasks. My objective is to share with you all the keys I used to fully automate all these mandatory and bureaucratic tasks that do not provide any added value. Today, we will design a script to automatically send operational reports via HTML emails using Python. This video is inspired by an article published in my blog. I will add the link in the description. In the context of performance management for a global distribution network, we will see how we can automatically create PowerPoint showing visuals with comments after processing data extracting from logistic management systems. So, the context is a global supply chain network of a closing retailer. You have stores all around the world. Goods are produced in factories that replenish global and central warehouses. When distribution planners create orders, these warehouses prepare and deliver the goods to the stores. In this reporting project, we will focus on the store delivery performance reporting. The question is, how can we use Python to create performance reports with visuals and comments and automatically send them by email? As a distribution planning manager, you need to send operational reports every week. It's a boring manual task for which you need to connect to the systems, launch SQL queries to extract shipment records, manually process these records with Excel and export graphs, and put this visual and add comments in an email that you send to the store managers. How can you avoid these manual tasks? So the objective is to fully automate the process. The scope is the last week of shipment data. You automatically schedule an SQL query to extract the raw data. A Python script will perform the cleaning, formatting and build visuals and write comments. And the same script will create an HTML page with the visuals and comments, embed it in an email and send it to the distribution list. So the final result will be one page report like the image below with a title that will be adapted to the current week number and a comment area with some insights based on the visual. A bar plot visual generated with the last weeks of data extracted from the WMS. Simplicity, clarity and insight. Everything automatically generated by your Python script. So, to sum up, it's a four-step process for the data preparation and visual building. It's the same process with the previous video of PowerPoint automation. Step 1. You get the raw shipment lines after the SQL query. Step 2. You process the data to include operational ratios and KPIs. Step 3. You build all the visual needed. Step 4. You generate the comments and insight. Now you can move to the HTML page creation. Comments are built using ratios and KPIs calculated from the shipment records data frame. The first comment is related to the number of lines per order. You also indicate which day of the week is the busiest. And you conclude with the total workload in order lines. These Python scripts strings will be included in the HTML template to appear in the email. And you also need to save the visual in a local folder so the script can add it later as an attachment of your email. Now it's time to move to the HTML page. You start with the head section. Even if it's not a real page, web page, I faced some issues if I didn't include this part. And then you include the header. Here it's a PNG picture I stored locally. You'll have to make sure that it's added as an attachment in the last part of your code. And now we're good for the upper part. You can start to put the title now. Note that in the HTML template of my GitHub repo, week 1 is replaced by week, W-E-E-K in capital letters. Don't change it, it will be updated by the Python script that will replace week by the actual week number. This is how you are going to generate your report. In the template you have a generic character for each variable that you need to update and you will use the replace function in your Python script to put what the processing functions return. And below you add your visual stored in the local file, visual.png. In this section, you add the list of bullet points with comments. Note that the characters in bold are actually generated by Python. Same method as for the week number. For the first bullet point, information you have 
in the string or the lines is replaced by your, what your Python script is returning. So here is the number of order lines. You can have a look at the source code for more details. Feel free to add a comment if you have any question. To include the header and your visual in the HTML, you'll need to create meme image object with a content ID that will be put in the HTML code. Now we have our HTML page ready with visuals and comments, we can start creating the email. We're going to use the Python library SMTP lib. It will connect to the SMTP server of your mailbox. You will include information like your email address and also your password so the script can connect. So you can send your email to the delivery address you want. It's an easy process to send emails without using the web interface of your provider or Outlook. You start by creating a message object with the subject, the sender address, the delivery address. You add then the HTML source code and the information related to the attachment using the content ID created before. To conclude, you have all the pieces needed to build a fully automated solution that will extract the data from your system, clean process the data to filter scope and calculate KPIs, generate graphs, visuals and store them locally, create HTML reports with visuals and automatically generate comments, and send them by email to your distribution list. I hope this video gave you enough insight to be ready to outsource your work to a Python script on the cloud. If you have any question, feel free to share them in the comment section.